here in hyperbolic space, we can fit more than four cubes around each edge, as long as the cubes are big enough. And here the cubes are quite large, uh, and we in fact have six cubes around each edge. So if I just try and kind of move around the edge, I will go through six cubes to get back to where I started. And it can be kind of hard to see what's going on, or how many cubes, how do you count them? Um, uh, and here I'm just going to like put my face in an edge so I can look down and see that indeed there are six cubes and I, my aim is not very good here, but yep. <laughs> so, so that's what's going on here with these hyperbolic cubes in space. Uh, and to see, here we have um, the same kind of thing going on, except the cubes have the corners cut off. They are truncated cubes. So now wherever the cubes meet um, at the corners, we have these triangles instead. Uh, but otherwise, it's the same. Um, there are six around each edge. So here's an interesting question in this particular space. Is what is this shape at the corner? Um, might look a little like an icosahedron to those familiar with that shape, but an icosahedron has five equilateral triangles around each vertex. Um, if we were in Euclidean space and we had our normal tiling of cubes, where we had four cubes around each edge, um, then we'd end up with four triangles meeting at each vertex, and eight cubes around each corner means that if we truncated that, we would get an octahedron in Euclidean space. But in this particular hyperbolic tiling, we have six equilateral triangles around each corner of this shape. And you can see, um, we can only see the cells nearest to us, and they'll um, kind of render in as we get closer. Um, so we can't see through to the other side of this shape just because it'll only render the closest one. So the answer is that, well, we have six equilateral triangles around each vertex. And that shape is a Euclidean plane. And, um, well, it's uh, only going to render the closest ones, so it's going to kind of dance around. But if we were rendering all the cells, we would see stretched out around us an entire Euclidean plane of triangles, equilateral triangles. Um, and that's just fascinating to think about, to imagine that each one of these corners here is a Euclidean plane. And I want to think of it as a, a shape that I can get into the middle of, um, but in fact, the center of this shape is at infinity uh, because it's a Euclidean plane. So here's a view of only those corner bits. And again, we're only rendering the closest ones, and as we get, get closer, we'll... Uh... But each one of these sets of triangles is an entire infinite Euclidean plane that, of course, don't touch each other. And when I'm moving through this space, I always want to get around the plane. I'm like, I'm trying to get around this shape. I want to go all the way around it, but of course I can't go around it. It's infinite. It's, it's a plane. Um, and because of hyperbolic space, they don't intersect. So it's, uh, it's it's awesome to be able to create these spaces and explore them, especially in virtual reality.